Um, did I forget to equip the totem? <laughs> well, <laughs> oops. Um. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I totally did not mean to do that. Anyways, um, last time we had built this wonderful honey shop. That is wonderful as I collect all my stuff here. Here's my wings. And we have made no additional sales on it. I think maybe one or two. Um, where's my shovel? Oh, here it is. Whew, okay. Got my shovel. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, so we built this wonderful, amazing bee shop, which made no additional sales, but it still looks nice. I have collected honey. I basically have more honey than I know what to, than I know what to do with. And... I've actually increased this, so this has gone from 16 to 32. You can see these are almost full. And then when I get them even full, I'll put them up to 64. Same thing with this, 32. Uh, I don't think I've done much with honey blocks yet. Oh, I still got more here. And then, of course, you know, bee, the beehives take some manual work, so I haven't really done much more than that. Hey, little bees. These guys really want to get out, but they're not going to. Got some hives here. Nothing too amazing, just the normal stuff. But let's go and get out here. Um, we got some stuff to showcase you guys later. Let's head on over there and I'll show you what I have been working on. Here's what I got so far. Let me just head into it real quick. I got the whole island done. It's just dirt. I'm going to have to beautify it a bit. It is hollow. I think I'm going to... Oh, you guys can't see that at all. I think I'm going to like get all the water out and make a basement under it. But the island is done. It's mostly hollow. Um, this inside chamber is the kill chamber. There is some campfires and just a really long pitfall. It's 22, 21, depends on how you judge it. So John should fall with, what, half a heart, one heart, something like that left. I got a little basement down here. I'm going to dig out more. But they should land. I'm going to set up a little a switch so I can switch it to kill instead of AFK, and it should still just work just fine. Also, that was uh, the wrong blocks. They're supposed to be yeah, these guys. There it is. It went in there. <laughs> and then I have this upper section done too. This is the hardest spot. Uh, a lot of people use signs. I think signs take too long to place. Uh, fence gates. And then if you break one sign, they all break. But I have fence gates. You can fall through them. They are a too high. So that way the drown will just flow through here into the central spot and full here. I think the ones that fall here, like right in this spot, might instantly die. I don't know. Maybe they won't. But either way, they should be fine to fall down and just get killed. Mobs spawn up to 120 blocks away. That's 25 high up to this platform. And then I got to go, counting this, I got to go 100 more, 103 more, which is all the way up to here. And then I got to put a roof on it and decorate it. And it's going to be such an eyesore. It's going to be so ugly looking. <laughs> it's going to be so big. But I think it'll be fine. I'll make, I'll figure it out, make it work. This is all just so I can get one trident too. This is the crazy thing. <laughs> but I think it'll work out really well. It'll be fun. It'll be a learning experience. And yeah, so let me keep on working on this and I'll show you guys some progress when I get all done. Well guys, we are literally up in the clouds. We have the top done, goes to 197. Uh, we have the layer of water. There's one layer of water on the top. Uh, that will flow down all the way to the bottom. Look, we're already getting some drowned. And what that'll do is it'll create water. It doesn't need to be source blocks, but it will flow down so it'll slowly push the drown down. And also drown will spawn in river biomes, which we are at any height in water or flowing the water as long as there are two blocks of water or whatever. So yeah, the whole thing will spawn a couple of drown here and there. It's going to be a slow process, but I can just AFK at it. But the best part, the coolest part, is to literally dive off this thing into the water. Look at this. Oh, okay, that was a little bit close actually to the shore. And yeah, it is massive. Let's see if we can see some fall down in uh, free cam mode. Oh yeah, they die pretty fast. Okay, well cool. Let's do F3B, do a free cam, and kind of just go through the cylinder. I'm glad we're already getting some. So yeah, they'll fall down, they'll pass through the, the, the gate, and then they'll come in this water section. Uh, let me hold this, sorry. Uh, so fence gates come down here, and this water will push them to the center, 
and then these two things will push them down into this little hole and they'll fall and they'll have about one heart left and they'll die. And this whole thing can spawn because it goes up to 128 away from me. So that's within the distance of quote unquote spawning. And anything past that I believe would make it so that they just instantly despawn or don't spawn or whatever. So we'll have to see if this thing works. It's going to be a slow process, but it should, should you know, eventually give us a trident after a couple hours or something. I've been here about five minutes, and I already got a trident. <laughs> okay, maybe not five minutes, but, like, not very long. Just, I've been whacking away at them. Flying up, and... <laughs> I already got this stinking trident. Oh my gosh. I got ten of these guys. So, I think I'm going to put these back and just let it passively get me some stuff and see if see if that's any different. Because I noticed when it was passive, it only got Nostril and the Rotten Flesh, but as soon as I came and started smacking them, I got Head, Copper, and Trident. So, it may have to be like a Smacker one, which is fine. I can do that. Apparently... The drowned don't drop tridents unless someone physically kills them. We've had to change it up so that we have to manually kill them, which is fine. So we put this extra spot up here. They should land with a heart and a half. But with like a sword, we can just go and smack them. Look at that. But they drop fishing rods sometimes. We've got a couple fishing rods and also tridents. So this is the way we can get lots and lots of tridents. Okay, we got our trident all enchanted up. It's got loyalty, um, channeling, mending, and breaking loyalty, and impaling four on it. Uh, pretty good. Mostly just the channeling is the main thing we want. But now, if we throw it at something, it'll come back to us. Did learn, looked it up, that we have to have a rainstorm, which is a small chance of happening. And then within that rainstorm, there's a small chance that'll be a thunderstorm. So yeah, we got we got to wait a bit. Uh, Shad looked up the like averages and he said on average you should get a thunderstorm every nine hours which is way too long so we're gonna we're gonna sit here and wait for a thunderstorm oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i finally started thundering um let me go over here real quick let me go over here real quick i've been waiting so long for this i have no idea thunder oh. okay which one's the one i want this one no I don't need you guys. Get away. Oh crap. Bad idea. <laughs> it broke all the boats. The boats just went poof. That's okay. We can deal with the boats later. Let's just get them all. These two over here. Whatever. Let's check this out. Uh, oh crap. These, there's still two I missed. I want to get them all. Might be a day or two for again. Real life day or two for I get another chance. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got I want to set up my Oh, I don't even know. I'll take a screenshot of these. Let's, let's just go kill stuff. Let's see. Yeah, that's my Riptide one. So I can fly with this guy. Oh! Or just fall a bunch. Come on, fly!
There we go. Let's kill some stuff. Okay, let's see if we can get this charge creeper to kill something and get some heads. Oh my gosh, this little zombie guy is going to kill me. Let's hold my totem, maybe? We don't need a skelly head, but we need a zombie head. Ah! Okay, this is not fun. Everything is killing me. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. Why aren't you turning... Is the thunderstorm done? Oh, I think it is done. Did I get ahead? Did I get ahead? Did I get ahead? Oh, I think I did. Zombie head, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, gosh. So, the storm ended, and I, I... When I turned all those creepers over here, I had flown away, and they, um... They despawned. But... So I'll have to wait for a new storm. I did get a zombie head there, though. That's a one. It wasn't a complete failure. But I need to set up a system for collecting creepers and lightening them. I have a plan. I got a seven cell system. I made obsidian. I tested it. If one explodes in here, it won't hurt the ones off to the side. So what we're going to do is grab mine carts, put them down here. And what we'll do is I have this whole little area up here set up to try and collect creepers. I've already tested it out with some creepers. It seems to work. But basically, these three rows should spawn some creepers. And if they're if they're right on the edge, it will pop them in a minecart. So I might have to get them to come look at me a bit. But what we do is we pop, when there's a couple creepers there, if there's skeletons or zombies, we can just kill them. But if there's a couple creepers there... We'll hit them with the, the trident to charge them up. And then we'll have the cart go by. And hopefully they see us to go to the edge. And then it'll just pick them up right along the way. They'll ping them up and head them right on down. It's a little bit slower because there's no one in it. But when the mine cart has someone in it, it'll go a little bit faster. It comes on down, goes in, and goes right in the cell. Now the nice thing about this, let's say I send two or three at the same time. It will automatically bounce back and go to the next cell. See, so it bounces back, goes in, goes to the next cell. So yeah, we'll just have to tog, come over and toggle it real quick. So I guess it'll bounce back one. And then we'll have to come switch it. And then what we'll do is grab some obsidian. Let's pretend this is obsidian. Get kind of far back from it and just pop it in there. We can then hopefully come here, break that, and pop one down there. And then it should be safe until we get the mobs over. And then we can transport it more to somewhere else for an exploding area to kill and get the heads we need. Oh, we just got a second thunderstorm. I gotta act quick. Let me get this set up. Let's get some creepers. I see spiders. We don't want no stinking spiders. Come on, creepers. There we go. Okay. Let's get this guy in. I miss him? There we go. Okay. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. It'll get him on the way back, and then I'll fly out of the way. No? Let's send another one. Come on. You're right there. 
Pick him up. Pick him up. Come on. Pick him up. There we go. We got him. Okay, let's stand clear and let it go in. I don't need this one. No. Nope. Let's get some obsidian and lock him in. Toggle that. Break that. He is locked in. Okay. Let's see if we can get a couple more. We got one in for sure. Oh, what is that? Skelly. Skelly, get out of the way. Oh, that was a great hit. Spawn. Oh, I think we got one. Let's go. Creeper bones, come get me. Got him. There he goes. See you later. Oh no. We have a problem, Captain. We gotta take these guys off. Okay, he's sliding down. I think we'll be okay. In the second slot. He's in the second slot. Lock it off. Break that. We are good. That's two. I am stealing a couple of sheep from uh, Shad's new base, which was uh, Heaven's old base. Don't tell him I'm doing this. <laughs> Let's get them. We got to get them inside of that thing, but... I don't know how to get them in there. And we need to breed them up and get one of each color, then explode them with a creeper. Um, do I have a fence? You know, you know, here's a fence. Guys, chill here for a second. Come on down, guys. Come on. It's okay. Come on down. Yeah, down the dark, creepy cave. Don't worry about it. Ignore the creep, explody creepers. Yeah, okay. Perfect. You guys want some yummy wheat? Huh? You want a piece? You want a piece? Where's your little one? Come here, little one. Move out of the way. There we go. There. Everyone's happy. Yay! Okay, guys, I have a charge creeper there. And um, with this mod data pack, if, uh, charge creepers, if they blow something up, it's a 100% drop rate for the head. So we are going to go in there and blow them up. It will do some damage. I don't really care. It's what it is. I'll fix it afterwards. Hopefully the place doesn't flood too much. Um, but yeah, let's let's do this. Oh! Oh, there goes all the water. Oh, oh, Rob, let's collect it all. I don't see any mob heads. Does that not work? That Does that not work? Is that not a thing? Is that not a thing? Oh man, I am so sad right now. I can't believe no heads. Maybe they flooded down and I missed them. Please, please, I just want some sad. Oh no, no, no. No! <laughs> You have no idea how much work and effort this was, and it doesn't even work. I had to get the trident, I had to get the charge creepers, breed all those guys, move over. This, this has been the worst. Look at all this stupid wool. What do I, what do I even do? You know what? I'm done. I'm quitting. This is stupid. Over one month later. Guys, guys, guys. It's been some time since I've been on, and uh, I'm sorry for that. But oh boy, oh boy. After the first round, I'm not working. The second one being a big hassle. I didn't even complete it. Tridents took 
quite a bit to get and get working. Lightning thunderstorms taking forever to get to happen. And then the creepers don't even work. Well, they sort of work. Um, they work on normal mob heads. Like, that's why I worked on the skeleton. Remember that one skeleton? Or the zombie. I worked on the zombie, I should say. So zombie, skeleton, piglin, uh, the normal mobs, wither skull, skeletons. So there's a couple. I think I got to get che creeper. And I got to get um, piglin heads that way. But it doesn't work on the rest of them. But you know what? I said I can't be holding off too much. I, I need to get back on the server. And so I got on and I just, you know what? I said, you know what? Let me just, let me just finish this project. It's failed. Let me go in and just get the outside of this tower done. And I got it done. I got it done. It's done. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, I can zoom in more. I didn't know you could zoom in with this. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I got it done. Let's go take a look at it right now. Ta-da! Let me go free cam. So yeah, I went ahead and a while ago I designed it in creative mode and I went and got this kind of andesite where it's like polished normal with these big sections. Kind of create a design. I wanted sea lanterns here, but I don't have any. So I went ahead and just did glowstone dice with some glowstone and then end rods and a little bit of warped uh, decoration. So yeah, the tower is all decorated. I really like the roof. Chad helped me with do a gradient, uh, which kind of was a happy accident. And I really like, especially this little antenna part, if you do oscillating with the fence and these, they'll never actually connect and make a really cool little like tower part. I really, really like the design. I think it looks really nice. I got these entrances. I got this one that wraps around with like a path that's half kind of falling apart. Uh, I got a long dock here. I might build a boat right over here. And then I got a little dock here with a little Maui raft. My daughter wanted me to make me a Maui raft, so I did. And look, he's catching the fish. And even as a fish in his back over here, that is called dinner. Here, I'll show you. Right over here. His name's Dinner. I got him to stick in there. He's been staying. He hasn't despawned. I'm kind of amazed. But I really like it. it. Turned out pretty nice. The docks have... Oh, right. Boots. Docks have little ladders to get up. And I don't really have anything for the inside. Just some basic stuff. And the thing... I've gotten three tridents from a long ago before I, before I took a quote, quote, break. But I have gotten five more. Oh, no. Oh, I got... Okay, I've gotten another one recently. I've gotten seven more while building this thing. It is done. Again, in the inside here, it is just a big water column for drown. And also, there's a room up here. I might make a secret door and go in here. The other thing I did, I don't know if I talked about this before, but I wasn't getting good spawns because there's caves underneath. And so I went through and cleared about 90% of the caves by putting light sources down as you guys can tell, pretty much everywhere, water and normal, to kind of lower the spawn rates. I just turned like a big sphere on with mini HUD and went around trying to get to all the locations. I went, I mean, I went through probably 30, 40 sacks of lanterns. It was, it was nuts. Look over here, like these parts and stuff. And then I still wasn't getting the best of rates. And I noticed that some of the water, they were spawning everywhere in the water. So I went and put one of these guys in. If you don't know, oh look, I'm getting some guys. If you don't know, if you activate it fully, it actually makes a little eye thing, which makes the distance the furthest and stuff. Uh, and it, it'll attack guys. Look at this, it's attacking them. I think it's the coolest thing, like every couple seconds it does a couple hearts of damage to them and slowly kill them. I did find out if you put like a bunch of them, like five or six or seven it doesn't the damage doesn't stack it just does normally i think sometimes it will they may attack different ones and so you can get them attacking a couple at a time but i was testing trying to get them to kill a warden really fast and it, it didn't work but still this didn't even stop me you saw those guys spawn so i started putting lanterns because water is three-dimensional so like i started putting lanterns in the middle to get them to spawn and it was just it i, I didn't give up i got as much as i could i did my best Spawns are goodness, good enough, and I think I can get a good amount of drown. It's like 90%, which I think is just fine. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's all I got for you guys this week or month or two months or whatever we've been <laughs> whatever it is. But thanks for watching. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. The more subscribers we get, the more likely I'll actually be on here and do stuff. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. It, it really makes makes my dope dopamine just skyrocket. And I will see you guys later.